Aiden, join Discord, please. Alrighty, good eve Tuesday evening. We're live at Lava Land Motorsports Park for the National Oval Racing Association. And I totally hit the wrong button there. There's no starting lineup as right now they are hot lapping out on the track as they're getting groups. So, oh well. Stuff happens, right? I'm Steve McMillan. I'm in for Brett Wheeler tonight. And um, he's out finding the sex of his baby. But I think he was trying to find the sex of himself. To find out, make sure he was a male. He was so worried about a poof, and I don't know what a poof is, but let's just make sure that, you know, Brett, if you're watching, we're going to have fun tonight. Y'all join me. I'll be looking in the chat. We'll have some fun. You know, I'm going to make some mistakes. Hey, that's okay. This is my first time. Actually, if he's watching earlier tonight, we just saw Cody Batten in number 71 winning the makeup race at Lanier International Speedway. Congratulations to him. And Glenn Reinhardt led over halfway until he got in the wall and flipped upside down. But right now, they're hot lapping on a track. Hayden Lomax in the dark car number 36 on a track right now. Like I said, right now, they are just hot lapping the cars, getting the fill in. Make sure you share and like the page of Ultimate Dirt TV. Like I said, this is my first time on Ultimate Dirt TV by myself. You know, a little hey, nervous here. The school, you have missed the driver's meeting. I don't want to fail Brett too bad, but that's okay. You know what? It's all about having fun and broadcasting tonight. And, you know, I want to thank Josh for giving me this opportunity, too, to broadcast this league. And, you know, if y'all want to race the midgets or the modifieds with Nora, make sure to get in contact with Joshua Conover. You can get a hold of him on Facebook. Also, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Black Diamond Motorsports, JR Production and Media, World of Thunder Racing League. Wicked Cushion. A one nine designs. All right, as I've been told, they're having a driver's meeting right now. So we're gonna play an ad real quick. I racing, you wanted the best, you got him for a rest. Growing up as a kid in Oklahoma, where I'm from, it's really the, the biggest race that we have. Holy Grail.
All right, we're back live as it's still our hot lap of the cars. We do have more drivers than we did last time. So far, we have 24 drivers signed into the pit area. 24 drivers. We're just looking ahead to see who's out on the track as they are underway. All right, so they're qualified with 17 seconds to go. Nelson Webster hey, on the front. Brett Osborne second, Logan Rumsey's third, Jeff Bradshaw fourth, Wade Lamar fifth, Aiden Burdue sixth, Cody Batten seventh, eighth is Coy Pennington, Glenn Reinhardt currently ninth, and Brett Hobson ran out top ten. All right, your starting lineup for heat race number one, car number 71, who just came off a win around about 30 minutes ago. Car number 71 of Cody Batten. On his outside, a car number... Eight thirty is Jeff Bradshaw on your second row inside. Car number fifteen, Nelson Webster on his outside. Car number eight, a Brett Hobson. The start fifth is Brett Morris Jr. Josh Conover. Then start seventh is Brad Faria and Leighton Kramer. All righty. As we're waiting for everybody to load in, pay struck starts to pull off. If you're just tuned in, make sure to share and like. I'm Steve McMillan. I'm in for Brett Wheeler tonight. And also, if you want to catch me live later on the week, I'll be broadcasting Thursday night. The Monsters of Dirt UMP Modifieds Mid-Season Championship. All right, lights are out on the pace truck. One lap to go for Cody Batten and Jeff Bradshaw will lead them to the green flag. Nelson Webster and Brett Hobson on row two. Row three is Brett Morris Jr. and Josh Conover. Row four, Brad Faria and Leighton Gramer. All right, drivers are at a little faster pace. Here we go. Green flag's out. Cody Batten on loud pedal. Jeff Bradshaw working that middle groove. Cody Batten on the bottom as he goes down the back straight away. Coming out to her number one or four at the line. It's Jeff Bradshaw leading that first lap. As they're side by side for Lee. Coming out to her four again. And that time. It's still Jeff Bradshaw by a nose. Jeff Bradshaw starts to pull away a little bit. Cuts off Cody Batten in turn three, exit turn number four. All right, look at Nelson Webster. Started closing the gap of Cody Batten for that second spot, going down the back straight away. Oh, Jeff Bradshaw losing it. Nelson Webster takes the lead. Hey, look at Brett Hobson moving up into third spot. And Brett Morris Jr. now in fourth. Brett, uh, Brad Faria fifth. And right now, Nelson Webster starting to put a gap on him and Cody Batten. But look at Brett Hobson starting to put the pressure on Cody Batten. 
as they are completing lap number seven this time. Three to go. Down the back straightaway. It's all Nelson Webster. You see Brent Hobson trying to make a little bit of a mistake, trying to put the pressure on Cody Batten. Nelson Webster coming out to her number four. White flag. Going down the back straightaway, it's all going to be Nelson Webster, Cody Batten, and Brett Hobson. JR Production and Media Finishing Results, Nelson Webster. All right, folks, heat race number two on the track. Starting on your front row in car number 21, Coy Pennington. On its outside car, number 993 of Wade Lamar. Starting on your second row inside car number 9, Brett Osborne. On his outside in car number 4 is Tristan Carmen. Starting fifth is Alan Tacken and Kyle Atkinson in the 52. And on your last row, it's Brett Pergo and Aiden Lomax. All right, late lights are off on the pace truck. Going green this time as they come out of turn number two on the back straightaway. The pace truck will look to pull off as they enter turn number three. Green flags out. It's Coy Benson and Wade Lamar. Coy Benson get a good jump. Look at Brett Osborne putting pressure on Wade Lamar for that second spot. As they complete lap number one, Coy Benton, Wade Lamar, Brett Osborne, Tristan Carmen in fourth. Great action on the track. Oh, we got one car round. Yo, flags out. Tristan Carmen and Brett Osborne. A little heavy on the binders. Nowhere to go. A little recent action there. Spin both cars out. As they will complete lap number four. <laughs> Brett knows the sex of the baby. I've been telling everybody Brett is sex of you. You're finding out of the sex of yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, as we're on board with Wade Lamar, as we'll look at this view as they go green flag this time, as you see Coy Pinton leading the race, Alex Atkinson third, Al Atkinson fourth, Brett Ergo in fifth. All right, pace truck pulls off. Green flag. Green, green flag. flag. All right, as you see, Coy Benson pulls back out in front. Alex Atkins still in third spot, but Cal Atkinson trying to put a little bit of pressure on him. Also, you see Brett Osborne start trying to make a move back up to the front. Brett Pergo in the 731, currently in sixth spot. All right, look at this. Look at this. Alex Atkins and Wade Lamar side by side. Wade Lamar will have momentum going down the back straightaway. All righty, as they complete lap number nine. 
white flag. All right. Oh, we got contact. Oh, my goodness. Coy Pizza. Alan Atkin will win the race. Kyle Atkinson and Coy Pinson finished third. Whoa, look at that finish. What a wild finish on the heat race number two. Alrighty, folks. Heat race number three is Glenn Reinhardt and the car number 57. On his outside, in car number 38, yeah. it's Aiden Perdue. On your second row inside, in car number 41, it's Logan Rumsey. And on his outside, in car number 12, it's Trey Smith. Third row inside, in 07, is Tyler Chalk. And outside of him, in car number 88, is Joshua Jarrett. And starting seventh in a row all by himself is Brian Powell. Mr. Elkins not making a call. Alrighty. Lights will go out of the base truck this time. They will go green flag next time around for 10 laps. The heat race number three at the National Racing Association, Oval Racing Association. I'm Steve McMillan filling in for Brett Wheeler tonight. A strike pulls off. Glenn Reinhardt leading him to the green flag. He's green on a lap, but a green flag's out. But look at this. Ada Purdue gets a good start as he's all around it. Look at Ada Purdue taking the lead. Coming out to her number four. Leading lap number one, it's going to be Ada Purdue. Glenn Reinhardt in second. Trey Schmidt in third. Fourth is Logan Rumsey. The fifth is Tyler Chalk. All right, they complete lap number two. Aiden Perdue so far leading the first two laps. Glenn Reinhardt looking to put the pressure on him, see if he can get back around him as he started to race on the pole. Well, right now, this track is pretty tacky. Locked down, so these drivers, you know, you got to make the move on the start, basically. As right now, you look at Logan Rumsey, looking at Trey Schmidt for that third spot, but cannot do it. Going into turn number three, coming out turn number four, Aiden Purdue, Glenn Reinhardt, Trey Schmidt. The one down the back straightaway. Aiden Purdue putting around about two guard links in front of, ahead of Glenn Reinhardt. As they complete lap number six. Four laps to go. Glenn Reinhardt waiting for a mistake from Aiden Purdue, but Aiden Purdue will not do that, will not give him the chance. But you look at Logan Rumsey trying to put the pressure on Trey Schmidt, but hits the tire. All right, so you're looking right now. Glenn Reinhardt closed up just a tad bit on Aiden Purdue. White flag this time. One more lap to go. As A. Purdue goes down the back straightaway into turn number three, out turn number four. It's going to be, oh my goodness. Glenn Reinhardt taking heat race number three. Trey Schmidt will finish third. Logan Rumsey third. Tyler Chalk fourth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your B main. On your front row, a car number 27, Brad Faria. On his outside, a car number four is Tristan Carmen. 
On your inside, row number two, car number 66 of Brian Powell. And on his outside, car number 18 of Leighton Gramer. Row number three. It's the number 731 of Brett Ergo. And on his outside, in car number eight, is Joshua Jarrett. Starting on row number four, car number 22, Joshua Conover on his outside, be the 993 of Wade Lamar. Starting ninth, in car number 38, Evan Brom's at last heat race. It's Aiden Perdue, and then his outside is Jeff Bradshaw. This is your B main, and I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe everyone will make it. All right, lights are out on the pace truck. Brad Faria and Tristan Carmen will lead him to the green flag. Base truck pulls off. Brad Faria on the lap battle. Green flag is out. He gets a good jump going out of turn number two down the back straightaway. But look at Tristan Carmen trying to get a run. Can I do it? And he gets in the back of Brad Faria. Oh my goodness, we got a car around. Brad Faria leading lap number one. Coming out of turn number four, Brad Faria, Tristan Carmen start putting pressure on him again on the high side. You see Josh Conover moving up into third spot, going down the back straightaway. Side by side action for fourth and fifth. Brian Powell and Brett Argo. Tristan Carmen will take the lead going down the back straightaway. Brad Faria moves back into second spot. Josh Conover in third. Brian Powell in fourth. As you see these drivers, as the track starts to widen a little bit, they start to move up. But you know, Brett Ergo starting to work that bottom side, see if he can gain any more positions. Also, you see Brian Powell there in fourth spot. As we're going to go on board on a gyro cam with Brad Faria. As you can see, him trying to chase down your current leader of Car uh, Tristan Carmen as they pass the flag stand. See how, look at the exit of the turn. Look how Brad Faria is running. And look at where Tristan Carmen's running. All right, as they are going to fix and complete lap 9 of 15. Your top five look like this. Tristan Carmen, Brett, Mario, Brian, Pal, Aiden, Purdue, Josh, gone over your top five. All right, the battle on for fourth right now. Josh gone over, trying to work over Aiden, Purdue. See most of the drivers run the high side in. Tristan Carmen's pulling away from the pack. Oh, third spot. Oh, 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 getting into it. Ryan Powell losing positions. Aiden Purdue moves into third. Josh Conover fourth. Late Kramer moves up into fifth spot. Slide job by Conover, but Aiden Purdue passes it back over for that third spot. So right now, the battle's on all for third. That's your battle on the track. As you look at Lake Kramer, starting to put the pressure on Aiden Purdue. Uh-oh. Lake Kramer having some problems there. Final lap as Tristan Carmen will lead him. Coming out to turn number four. It's going to be Tristan Carmen, Brad Farian, Josh Conover. Aiden Purdue, Brian Powell, Lake Kramer. That's your top five. 
All right, they got a five-minute warm-up session, and we'll go to break. I'm racing. You wanted the best. You got them for a rest. Growing up as a kid in Oklahoma, where I'm from, it's really cool. It's the biggest race that we have. Holy Grail. Alrighty, race fans, welcome back to Ultimate Dirt TV. I'm Steve McMillan in for Brett Wheeler tonight. As we're finishing up the final warm-up, final minute of warm-ups, they got about one minute left. As these drivers are a dial it in for the 50 lap future. See, I've already goofed it up. I did click the things on the OBS, but that's okay. Y'all here to laugh at me, have fun, and enjoy some good racing here with National Oval Racing Association. I'd like to thank our sponsors, 1-9 Designs, World of Thunder Racing League, Wick Cushion, JR Production Media, Icor, and Black Diamond Motorsports. All right, they got about nine seconds left of the final warm-up for the Go Feature race time. All 
All right, as we all know, that the lineup's going to be a little bit jumbled for the start for the redraw. But as, as of right now, it's Nelson Webster, Allen Tacken on the front row, Glenn Reinhardt, and Cody Batten on row two. Row number three, Cal Atkinson and Trey Schmidt. Row number four, it's Brett Opson, number eight, and Coy Pennington. Row number five, Logan Rumsey in the car, number 41, and Brett Morris, Jr., and car number 947. Row number six is Brett Osborne, 9, and Tyler Chalk in 07. Then Tristan Garman will start 13th, Brad Faria 14th, Josh Conover will start 15th, Aiden Perdue will start 16th. Starting 17th in car number 18 is Leighton Kramer, Brett Pergo, and car number 731 will start 18th. Joshua Jarrett will start 19th, and Jeff Bradshaw at 830 will start 20th. That is your starting lineup for the future race. As we're facing, we do not take the initial green flag start with Nora, as they will line up the redraw drivers. And listen to the word king. Can Cody Batten go for two for two tonight as he just won an hour ago at green fly, green Lanier fly. with Nora? All right, drivers are getting all lined up. So on your front row, it's going to be Alan Tacken, Cody Batten. Row number two, Trey Schmidt and Kyle Atkins. Row number three will be Nelson Webster and Glenn Reinhardt. Row number four, Coy Pennington. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest sight in auto racing, the Nora National Oval Racing Association doing a four-wide salute to you, the fans. And I said 50 lap feature. This is a 60 lap feature. Last race was 50 laps. But ladies and gentlemen, they're great racing all night long. Very few cautions. These guys are here to put on a show for you. And thank you, the fans, for watching. Make sure you share, like the post, and you can catch us next week as Brett Wheeler will be back behind the microphone. Alrighty. As the driver starts to get lined back up, y'all ready for some thrills, spills, and some unexpected violence? Alrighty. Lights are out on the pace truck. Alan Tack and Cody Batten will lead him to the green flag. Well, I lied. Maybe this is going to be a 59 lap race. <laughs> That's all right. They're trying to get the drivers lined up in the behind them. As I believe we're going to go green flag racing this time. Al attack and lead them to the green flag. Green flag's out. He gets a good start at the beginning of the race. Trey Smith hooks it up right into second spot. They go down the back straightaway into turn three and four. Alan Tackett will lead the first lap. Down the back, we got cars upside down on the front straightaway, but no caution. Wow, and the cars, yellow, yellow, yellow. now the yellow flag comes out. That could have been dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Al Attack and Cody Batten, Trey Smith, Glenn Reinhardt, and Coy Pennington, your top five.
as Joshua Jarrett was involved in that. And Leighton Gramer on a front straightaway bringing out the first caution of the night. Lights go on the base truck. Off the base truck, they will double them up for the restart. Al attack it will lead them down the back straightaway as the base truck will pull off when it enters turn number three. They're racking them, stacking them in the back. Here we go. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Al attack it get a good jump, but look at Trey Smith. We got snow cars upside down on the front straightaway. Yo, flags out. That was Brett Hobson. Nasty flip on the first straightaway right past the flag stand. So they will go back under yellow as soon as they went green. Trey Schmidt moves up at the second spot. Cody Batten drops to third on that restart. Drivers getting, getting situated on a back straightaway. Lights will go out of, off the, the base truck. They'll double them back up. We'll go on board with Cody Batten. For the restart, they enter turn number three. Let's look at Alex Ackett on a lap. It'll green flags out. As you look at Cody Batten, putting pressure on Alex Ackett. He's in second spot. As he goes to the outside, but look at Trace Smith, or Glenn Reinhardt there. Glenn Reinhardt moving into second spot. You can see the how how little room they have as you look at slide jobs are happening. Cody Batten back into second spot. Clint Reinhardt. Back into second. Look at Glenn. Asking for redemption from the last race as he led over halfway before getting the wall flipping over. Meanwhile, Alex Atkins started to pull away. But battles off for second spots. They got slide jobs left and right going on between Glenn Reinhardt and Cody Batten. Nelson Webster moving up into fourth spot. We got car around. Yo flag, flag out on track. And that's Tyler Chalk. Bringing out that caution. Look at these drivers go. Look how racing, you know, much racing that was, especially for that second spot. With them racing like that allowed Alex Atkins to start pulling away. As lights should go out on the pace truck this time around. All right, lights are off on the base track. They're going green. Alan Tackett, Glenn Reinhardt in front row. Cody Batten, Nelson Webster, row two. Coy Bennington and Brett Morris Jr. on row three. Base track starts to pull off. Alan Tackett's on lap out of green flags out. Look at Cody Batten trying to get the run, the slide job. But can I complete it? As you see, look at Glenn Reinhardt closing up on Alex Atkins, but gets loose coming out to turn number four. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And we got a yellow back on the track. And that looks like that came out for car number 12 of Troy Schmidt.
So you look at Lima Land. The track length is 0.27 miles. And right now, the temperature is 74 degrees. Hello, Dusty Lee Jr. How are you doing, sir? All right, they're going single file restart this time. Lights are out on the pace truck. Al attacking Glenn Reinhardt, Cody Batten, Nelson Webster, and Coy Benz in your top five. Green flags out. Green, green, green. Al attack gets good jump, but look at look at Glenn Reinhardt and Cody Batten. They're single file, one through five. Brett Morris Jr. trying a little bit of the bottom side when they were in turns three and four. And we'll go inside of Brett Morris Jr. As you see in front of him, Coy Benson in a 21. And you can look in the cockpit of his car and you see all these drivers and looks a little rough up there. Great action for the lead. Right now, Glenn Reinhardt putting pressure on Alex Atkins. He does a slide job, but Alex gets the momentum coming down the back straight away. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And we got our yellow on the track. And it looks like Leighton Kramer, Joshua Jarrett, and Tristan Carmen bringing out that caution. I mean, that's one thing about these little bull rings. Sometimes you get some good long green flag racing or cautions bring cautions. Well, tonight it's been cautions bring cautions. Lights will go on the base track. Single file restart. Allen Tacken, Glenn Reinhardt, Cody Batten, Nelson Webster, Coy Benson, Brett Morris Jr., Kyle Atkinson, Brett Osborne, Brett Ergo, and Brad Faria, your top ten. Pace truck pulls in the infield. Out turn number in turn number three. Green flags out. Green flag. Green flag. gets a great jump on this restart as he starts pull away just a tad bit on Glenn Reinhardt on the back straightaway. As you see, the driver starting to run that very high line. Glenn Reinhardt ducking underneath, closing the gap on Allen. Tries to do a slide job. Allen got some momentum coming down the back straightaway. Going into turn number three. Look at look Glenn Reinhardt doing a slide job. Allen ducks it back down. Glenn Reinhardt will lead that lap. Look at the action for the lead. Allen attacking moves to the bottom. Can I complete it? Glenn Reinhardt moves into first as you look at Cody Batten. Trying to put the pressure. Oh! Glenn Reinhardt got loose there. Here we go, out of turn number four. Glenn Reinhardt, Allen Tacken. Look at this battle for the first spot. Top four drivers. Oh no. Yellow flag is out. Glenn Reinhardt is the leader. Allen Tacken coming out four. He saw him on the gas, lifting the front end off the off the track and let it off and he dropped several positions in fact he's in fifth spot and we have to see race control Cody Batten is now your leader when the yellow flag dropped on the track Cody Batten had just a nose ahead of Glenn Reinhardt Lights are out on the base truck. 
Big Cody Batten go for two for two. Nelson Webster moved up into third spot. Brett Morris Jr. now in fourth. Alan Tacken in fifth. Base strike pulls off. Cody Batten leading them to the green. He's on a loud pedal. Green We're back green to green flag, flag action. As you look at Glenn Reinhardt looking underneath, but look, Cody Batten pulling away. Renda has a slide job. Brett Morris Jr. But look at this, Nelson Webster moves into the second spot. Glenn Reinhardt and Brett Morris Jr. They do a slide job. Brett Morris gets it to Glenn Reinhardt. Now allows Nelson Webster. Oh, we got a wreck on the front straight away because of that. They ran out of real estate and turn coming out turn four. Brett Morris Jr. moves up to third. Kyle Atkins in fourth. Brett Osborne moves up to fifth. As we look at gyro cam, as they head down the back straight away. Lights go out on the base truck. As we stand board and watch the restart this way, we look at Nelson Webster. Base truck pulls off. Cody Batten on the loud pedal. Green Nelson flag, Webster. They both got a good start. As they're right around for a lap with Nelson Webster as he tries to put the pressure on Cody Batten coming to the start finish line. Look at Nelson Webster putting the slide job. Cody Batten taking the lead. Look at this for the lead. Oh, we got car upside down. Yellow flag out on his track. Al Atkinson was involved in that wreck was he was the car flipping upside down end over end. just tuning in you're watching the National Oval Racing Association on Ultimate Dirt TV Cody back with a slide job put him back in first lights are out on the pace track we're going green this time around Cody Batten, Nelson Webster, Brett Osborne. Lights are out. Green flag. Cody's back on the loud pedal. Now this is where the action was for the lead. I see Nelson Webster just kind of kind of sizing Cody up right now as he just followed him into the turns. Cody Batten. Trying to go two for two tonight. Your top four, single foul. Brad Faria in six. Try to put the pressure on Tristan Carmen. Look at Nelson drop a slide job on Cody Batten. Could not complete it as they go into turn number three. Look how much Nelson Webster diamonds it off the turn. But look at Nelson trying to do a slide job to get on Cody, but Cody gets the momentum. 
Look at Nelson. He just kind of diamonds it off a little bit earlier than Cody Batten. Cody Batten will take the defensive line, and it turns one and exiting turn number two. They both go to the high side. Coming out of turn number four. Five laps to go this time. Cody Batten and Nelson Webster. Nelson Webster trying to size him up. We got a caution on the racetrack. And it looks like Brent Morris Jr. involved in that. Glenn Reinhardt. So let's look at your top five. Cody Batten, Nelson Webster, Coy Vance, and Brad Faria. Tristan Carmen now up to fifth spot. Jeff Bradshaw, sixth. Alan Tackett, seventh. Glenn Reinhardt, eighth. Lights go off the pace truck. And they'll have a green white checker. If a caution comes out before the white flag, they'll have another chance of a green white checker. As Cody Batten leads him down the back straightaway, pace truck pulls off. Green white checkered. Cody Batten on the loud pedal. Green, green flags green. out. Cody Batten going to the defensive line during the slider line. Exiting turn two on the back straightaway. He's on the high side. Has momentum. Look at Nelson Webster trying to put the slide job of Cody Batten as they come across the line. Cody Batten leading him down the back straightaway for the last time. Look at Nelson Webster. Cody Batten will go two for two for Dora. Cody Batten, two for two tonight. JR Production and Media finishing results look like this. Cody Batten in number 71, Nelson Webster second, Coy Pinson third, Brad Faria fourth, Tristan Carmen fifth, Jeff Bradshaw sixth, Alan Tackin seventh, Glenn Reinhardt eighth, Brett Morris Jr. ninth, and Brett Osborne ran out your top ten. Eleventh, Leighton Kramer, Brett Osborne, Kyle Atkinson in thirteenth. 14th was Brett Pergo, 15th Terry Schmidt, 16th was Joshua Jarrett, Aiden Purdue finishes 17th, Tyler Chalk 18th, Logan Rumsey 19th, and Josh Conover 20th. All right, we'll give it just a minute. We're going to play a quick little ad. I really you one of the best. You got him for a breast. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt. The world of outlaws. third place tonight in car number 21 Coy Vincent Coy tell us how the track was first off <laughs> um if you could survive that race you're gonna be just fine I mean you saw how the top uh, what, uh, top seven I mean well, at least the top four top five are running each other so I figured if uh if you could survive you'd be just fine but I mean there was you got to be on the top. I saw Brad coming late on the bottom, so I figured my safe bet instead of junking it would have been around the bottom, and that's where I wanted to finish. 
Well, you know, cautions, breed cautions, you know. I mean, at one time, it was like four, top four, swapping leads and like that. And then suddenly you see, like, Alan Tacken having some problems up front. And you see this, and then you see the cautions, breed cautions. How, what does this do to your momentum and your mindset? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to hold on, Brett. Uh, Steven, sorry. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, Steven, I'm trying to hold on, Steven. So, I mean, I'm just following them, watching them, whatever they do. I try not to do. Um, I was trying to keep it out of the wall and keep it clean. And, yeah, you're right. Bro. Cautions bring cautions. And uh, those top four, top five, a couple of them weren't running real clean. They were bumping chests. And, uh, and what happened, happened. So, Well, congratulations on your third place finish tonight. Who would you like to thank for making it all possible for you? Oh, uh, Josh Jarrett uh, and Josh Conover with JRC Sim Team. They uh, put this new little thing together and uh, got me this awesome paint. I think it's bringing good new luck, which I really need. Uh, Masterson Racing, uh, CDW Auto and Towing, and Pennington Ministries. And then you for doing this, Stephen. I mean, Brett's out, and here you are doing a hell of a job filling in. Well, thank you, sir. And have a good night, sir. Hi, man. You too, Bob. All right, coming home in third or second place tonight, Mr. Nelson Webster. Congratulations on your second place finish. I mean, you had an awesome race there, you know, especially with you, Cody, swapping the lead several times. You know, cautions breed cautions, as I just said with Coy. You know, how was your mindset tonight with this? Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of cautions would have been nice to. Um get some more green laps in there and have a little more of a shot at Cody and you know a little frustrated when there's a couple loose cannons that are kind of known issues in there and sure enough they lived up to their reputations and caused some problems you know kind of ruined a good race we had going in the top four or five uh at the end of the day second's not bad but Cody's kind of the one uh we're all trying to beat right now top of the point so it sucks to lose to him for sure that's right. I understand that. So who you like things making all possible for you tonight, sir? No, oh, thank you for putting this uh, broadcast on. And thanks to all my teammates and uh, Fatheads Eyewear, Drew Neal at 1-9 Designs for painting all our cars. And uh, thanks for Josh for putting this. All right. Well, Nelson Webster, congratulations on your second place finish. I'm sure we'll see you back here in two weeks, right? Yeah, because modifieds are next week. Yep. All right. Well, good luck then. Yep. Thanks, Steve. Well, Cody, I'm going to tell you this, sir. You can't win if Brett's broadcasted, okay? we I, I determined that tonight. You only did this for me. You know what I mean? My first night broadcasted solo, making my own mistakes, having fun at it, and you go two for two, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that was a heck of a race. It's uh, funny, I think we had the exact same finishing order as the first race, but it seems that uh, at this track, it's always me and Nelson at the end battling it out, and I finally got to beat him here. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you carry the momentum as I believe you're the points leader, right? Yeah, I'm the points leader heading into uh, the final race. Uh, final race of the season at the Chili Bowl. And that's going to be an awesome race to watch in two weeks, I believe it is. You know, tonight, with all the cautions there, and at one point, there was like four or five cars doing slide jobs, battling for the lead there. And, you know, Alan Tacken, the front end, lifts up, and it almost caused the log jam up front. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh... That was a little scary. Um, they were running more to the lower uh, to middle end of the track, and I was trying to stay clear of all of them so they could slide each other and everything, and I was just trying to keep my line up top, and um, I guess it worked out in my favor. It did, sir. Congratulations on two for two tonight, and who would you like to thank to make it all possible? Thanks to uh, 92 Designs, uh, 26 Esports, um, Broadcast, you guys for putting this thing on and uh nora for everything they do for us well again congratulations on your second win of the night with the national oval racing association 
and we'll see you next week in the modifieds thank you thank you all right ladies and gentlemen this will conclude our broadcast with ultimate dirt tv like thank our sponsors jr production and media world of thunder icore wicked cushion one nine design You can catch Brett Wheeler tomorrow night as he broadcasts, I believe, the Monsters of Dirt late models. I'm signed off. I'm Steve McMillan. Good night, everyone.